What's up, YouTube? It's your boy, Double A, Nine Skills, and welcome back to the Manchester United career mode. I know it's pretty weird, second episode in a row. I don't got my Manchester United jersey on. I gotta explain. I'm just gonna be 100% honest with you guys, okay? Yesterday, I told you guys I was in my street clothes, so that's when I make the best loot moves. I lied to you guys. Um, the thing is, is I, I lost my Manchester United jersey. I lost it. I, like, I don't, I took it off somewhere in my house, and I don't know where it's at. I lost my Manchester United jersey in my house somewhere. I don't know if I've been, if it got robbed. I don't know if my dog Scrappy ate it. Honestly, I know you guys are probably like, oh, look, he's hitting me with the excuse that his dog ate it. Listen, if you knew my, if you watch my vlogs, then you know it's actually a massive possibility that my dog ate it. Legit, my dog possibly could have ate it. Anyways, welcome back um, to the Bayfica, or it's not the Bayfica. Welcome back to the Manchester United career mode. And today, we are left with 30 million, but we have, Mar uh, uh, not Marata, we still have uh, the big boy, uh, Juan Mata to trade on somebody. We get an offer in from Valencia, and that's 14 million. I'm gonna go ahead and reject it. I have, I, I want nothing to do with selling my boy Valencia right now. So that's an absolute reject. Then we get an offer in for Blend, and this is an interesting one because he's 25. Not Blend Jones. I'm sorry. He's 25, right? And being 25 years old, um, he makes a lot of wages. His release clause is 25. Uh, I'm, I'm gonna be honest, bros. I, I am actually, if they gave me 20, I would sell him. Um, simply because we have the young center back coming back that told you I'm bringing back off alone. Um, so I'm not even mad, yo. If they were to give me 20 million for Phil Jones, I, I'm actually okay to sell him. They say 16, that's our final offer, I'm sorry. All right, but what about 18? Can we do 18? 18, real quick, one time, 18. We don't want to lose no look, boom, 18 million for Phil Jones. I feel like that's a pretty good move. Now we got 18 million plus we have the money. Um, the 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 Juan Mata to make a move. And you guys have loads. Uh, a lot of people said don't sell Lukaku, sell Sanchez, bring in Leroy Sane, Leroy Sane, like if you agree. See, I like that. Like to to bring it. Now here's the thing. Maybe we sell Sanchez. Maybe we sell Sanchez in the winter time and we give Sanchez a little bit of time to play here until the winter because we only have two days before uh, until the transfer window's closed and I don't think we have enough time to sell him. Um, but that is a pretty smart move. So we get an offer in for Luke Shaw, which is an interesting one because they offer 17 million. Now, if I sold Luke Shaw right now, I would actually be okay to do this because I would use Darmian until the winter time. And, and, and with that being said, the thing is, I just don't know if I'll get the money before the window closes. I'm gonna negotiate with them and see if I can get more money. If I can get over 25 mil, I'm gonna do that. Also, I'm gonna be playing on semi, uh, so not manual, but like semi, like, like semi assisted, not assisted shooting, but semi assisted to see if we can make the career mode a bit harder. 25 million is what I'm gonna try to finesse them out of them. They say 21, I'm gonna come back and say, listen, um, 24 million, I'm, I'm gonna try to get a, a good money here. I'm, I, 23, this is interesting. 23 million for Luke Shaw. 22 years old. He is still young, but he's only a 79 overall. We can let him walk right now. We have Darmian. We'll be able to make it to the winner fine. We'll be fine to make it to the winner without Luke Shaw. We'll be okay. And then we replace... I think I'm going to do it, bros. I think I'm going to do it. His money plus the money from... But will I have it before the window closes? Let's find out. I'm accepting it, yo. I'm accepting it. I didn't even... I didn't even think about selling Luke Shaw. Honestly, bros, it didn't even cross my mind. But with money for him plus money... Um, the money for... Who was the other guy we just sold? We sold uh, 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 Jones. When, when I receive both their money... There you go. Blend has sold. When I receive all of their money, if I receive it in time, we could actually make a pretty sick signing in this episode still today. So let's see if we get all the money in. First, we need to get all the money in. Can we collect all the money? Where are we at with it? Juan Mata offer now. Blend has sold. I need the other guys to sell before the window closes. And look at this. Whoa, Milan have shown interest in Juan Mata's feet 25. Wow, okay. Um, very interesting here. Uh, Chelsea offered 27 million for Juan Mata. I'm gonna I'm gonna I'm gonna I'm gonna talk to them. I'm gonna talk to them and I'm gonna I'm gonna negotiate. Now I might not get this money before the window closes, but if I get the other two guys' money before the window closes, it, it would really, really set us up nicely for January. I'm gonna try to get 32 million out of Chelsea. They say our final offer is 25. Um, I'm not about that life. I don't really care if that's your final offer. I'll, 29. Okay, then get out of my office. I don't really care. I don't care. Phil Jones has now sold. Phil Jones is gone. 
We also sold. Ah, oh man, we just, we just, we need the Luke Shaw money. Give me the Luke Shaw money, please, game. Game, quit playing games. Please give me the Luke Shaw money. With one hour remaining, let me, let, let, get, please give me the Luke Shaw money. I need the Luke, the Rashford, no, no, that's a big offer, too. 40 million, my gosh. Yo, please give me the Luke Shaw money right here. Please, right here, right here, right here, Luke Shaw. We have one more go. Do we get the Luke Shaw money? Give us the Luke Shaw money with an hour left. Can we make a big move? We don't get the Luke Shaw money. We could probably still make a move. We can probably still make a move. All right, baby. I said I wanted a right mid. You guys told me to look at Quincy Promes, and I'm not even mad at that, actually. Quincy Promes is a pretty damn great shout, to be honest with you. I'm going to see if I can uh, maybe tr uh, trade over uh, Juan Mata. I'm going to see if they'll take Juan Mata and a little bit of money for Quincy Promes. What are they saying? Unfortunately, Juan Mata is not the player that we're interested in. Uh, we can't let Promes go. Uh, wait, why? What? Like a player that's better fitted. That doesn't really make no sense. Yo, Juan Mata is a great player. Like, why wouldn't you want Juan Mata, though? Um, all right. Well, I can't give you Juan Mata. Would you take 27 million and 25%? Damn, 45 million. That's not really what I was uh, hoping for, buddy. That's not really what, what I was hoping for there, buddy. All I got is 29. They want 43. Quincy Promes would have been a big signing. It's not going to happen. We got to wait till January for him. Wow. Can we make something happen with an hour left? All right, here we go. Suso. Did I say that right? A lot of people in the comments told me to go after Suso. So we're going to do it. I'm going to offer Juan Mata for Suso. They want 29 on top of Juan Mata. I'm not willing to do that. But I am willing to give you 20 million plus Juan Mata and 25%. Maybe I should lower this a little bit. Maybe let's go to 18 million. 18 million Juan Mata and 25%. What are you saying? They say 27. I'm going to come back at them again. I'm going to say... 23 and 25%. Let's make this happen right now, man. We could pick up the young, 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 young 23-year-old right winger. Bang, that's a better offer. Suso has accepted. All we got to do is negotiate with him. And we're bringing in a 23-year-old right winger. That's exactly what we were looking for. We said we needed a winger. This is uh, Cristiano Ronaldo. Someone told me to go for Cristiano. You told me to offer. I don't think this is ever going to happen. But you told me to offer Juan Mata on uh, Cristiano Ronaldo. Now... Again, I don't think it's going to happen. I don't think we have any chance here, but yo, it's worth a try. Wait a minute, Juan Mata's gone. Why can I why can I why why can I offer Juan Mata? Am I is there something wrong here? Is there something I'm not seeing? Why can I offer? I'm not sure why I can't offer Juan Mata. I legit can't offer. That kind of makes me sad inside, I'm not going to lie. What about if I offered you Herrera? What would you say to Herrera, bro? You're looking for a left winger? Wait a minute. You're looking for a left winger? Like Sanchez? Unfortunately, it's not the type of player. Really? What about... <laughs> what about Anthony Martial? Ooh, you must be crazy! Here we go, baby. I'm gonna sit down with Malcolm. A lot of you guys love this guy. I don't really even know. I know nothing about him. I, my scout said nothing. I have no report on him, so I don't even know where to begin. I'm going to start off with an offer of Fellaini, and they come back and say they run a, want a right winger. Um, I don't have a right winger to offer. So listen, what I'm going to do, bros, because I don't know what he goes for, I'm going to offer $25 million. I, I don't know what he goes for. Actually, I'm going to come back and offer $20 million. I legit have no idea what this guy sells for, so I'm, I'm going to throw that out there. $20 million, big claws. They want 40 I don't got that 40. I, I mean, we don't even come close to having that 40. I'm going to be honest with you. So I'm going to offer 27. I'm going to give them 25%. I need a little bit of money to be able to make this happen. What are y'all saying? Are y'all taking it? They say no. They want a lot from Malcolm. Um, so I got to walk away, unfortunately. All right. So it's going down. I'm doing it. I'm going to negotiate with Suso. He's probably going to be the last guy we sign on transfer window deadline day. Um... Hopefully this works out. Hopefully we can make this happen. He doesn't walk out of here all pissed off. That's exactly what the aim is, obviously. Um, he is a, he is an 82 overall. So at least we have a right, like a legit right winger. That's that's what our aim is right now, to have a legit right winger. I'm going to offer him 100 and a milli sign-on bonus. 
That's what I'm offering you, bro. What are you saying? What are you slaying, Suso? He wants 115 with a sign-on bonus. I'm going to counter back. I'm going to say, look, you remove your bonuses. Yeah? You remove your bonuses. And I'll sign you. But you have to remove your bonuses. Okay, he comes back. I think I'm going to accept this, man. Um, I think I'm going to accept this, yo. I know his wages are kind of high, but... I can't really make any other move right now. So I think I'm going to accept this. I'm going to accept Suso. Let's get it, man. Our last transfer window deadline day signing. We can make more signings in the next episode. They're just not going to go through until the winter time. So I'm definitely going to keep attacking players and attacking the market. We signed Suso to play the right wing position. And what's even more great about all this is that when I fast forward this last hour, Luke Shaw sold... But he's still on the team. Luke Shaw is still 100% on the team. Um, Luke Shaw is 100% on the team because where's he at? Luke Shaw? Yep, still here. So he's going to sell, but we're not going to sell him until January, which is actually a beautiful thing because now we have time to replace him, which is absolutely great, man. Let's just be honest with each other. Now, all of a sudden, we got my man Suso. Um, now, Suso can slot right into that right wing position. Anthony Martial on the left and Lukaku. And one more thing before the window, obviously it is closed, but one more thing I wanna do in this window, now that Phil Jones is gone, I wanna go ahead and bring back the center back that is on uh, loan. Where is he? Where's my man at? Where? Is, there he is. The Austin Villa center back. I want to recall him. 300,000. Recall him back to Manchester United. It's done. Now we got a backup center back as well. All right, bros. I got an offer in here and I got an offer in for uh, Romario or Romero, however it's said. It's the Argentinian backup keeper and I'm going to accept the 10 million on him. Now, in January, we'll only get this money in January. But as you guys can see, bros, I am setting it up absolutely beautiful for the winter time. I am 100, Luke Shaw has rejected his move to Valencia as they couldn't reach an agreement on their terms, damn. Also, we get an offer in for Anthony Martial that I'm gonna reject, but I'm setting up the winter time beautifully, bros. I'm trying to make sure that come winter time, we have loads of money to make massive moves in this career mode. Also, anyone who's wondering where the big figure career mode is, it will be out tomorrow 100%. I just have a little bit of time more to work on it as the episode's gonna be pretty long. Uh, 14 million. Nah, I'm not doing this. We're walking away from the Italian, uh, from the uh, the Turkish Giants. All right, bro. So as I told you guys, for this upcoming game, I'm gonna try this, and I'm also gonna play with the settings as well. For now, we're gonna do semi. So I played manual before. We're gonna do semi. We're gonna do semi assisted shooting. All right. So it's gonna be it's gonna be harder to score goals, and that's exactly what we want. All right. Harder to score goals. With that being said, we're taking on Stoke City today. And Sanchez is obviously, now that Sanchez is here, he's going to play way more than Suso. But Suso is going to get a lot of playing time as well. As you can see, the lineup, man, it's pretty damn nice. It's looking amazing, to be fair. I'm going to try the young right back for this game, to be honest. Valencia is going to hit the bench. Uh, we're going to try a right back for this game, a different right back. Jimenez, Eric Bailly, Luke Shaw out on the left. Can, this, can he play? Nah, he can only play center back and thing. What about that other guy I brought back? Where's he at? Can you play left back? You can play right back. That's it. All right, interesting. Very, very, very interesting. All right, with that being said, let me bring let me bring my boy Sanchez because you know my boy Sanchez is going to play a lot. Um, let me bring him up here. Who the hell are we dropping off? I'm not even sure. Uh, Dybala, we're going to go Suso, Lukaku, Anthony Martial, Pugba, Fred, Dybala. I like that. This is the team. Sanchez will 100% come in very, very quick. I just want to see what Suso can offer to the team. All right, here we go. If the semi-assisted... Uh, shooting, if semi-assisted shooting is, is way too difficult or it doesn't feel more realistic, then I'm going to up the shot error, okay? So, I know a lot of you guys are going to say, hey, skills, just up, up the shot error in, this, in, in the sliders and everything will be better. That is the next move we're going to make. I'm going to try semi real quick, and if semi doesn't fix it, then we'll, we'll fix it by upping the shot error. Man, G Man has almost got to it, and that's off the crossbar. That is off the crossbar. The rebound almost went into the back of the net. Stoke City has us pushed back pretty far. The one thing I can say about Fred that's kind of annoying is he is a little bit small. Dybala loses out, unfortunately. Suso with a great steal. Lobs it into Dybala. Dybala looks up and finds the boy Anthony Martial. Anthony Martial sees Dybala. Sends it back towards Dybala. Dybala bringing it forward. Suso stops it, shoots it, and scores! Suso! Suso! 
debut goal for Suso. What a finish for the AC Milan man that comes to Manchester United for what was it, 20 something million plus, uh, plus, um, Plus the boy Juan Mata. A lot of you guys in the comments told me you wanted me to bring him in. And I brought him in. And he's already doing great things. A great finish for the young 23-year-old. Nice pass back into Suso. Suso with a skill move to get by one. Still with it, Suso. Whips it up to the back post. Anthony Martial with the header. And that one is going to go out of play. But, yo, Suso is creating. Stoke City with a beautiful through pass. Jimenez trying to get down there. Ball whipped in. Eric Bailly gets down there. Jimenez keeps it alive but keeps their life poorly the shot off the crossbar once again that's the second time it comes off the crossbar Fred can't get to that one Suso back on D misses ball whipped in De Gea grabs and for the second time in this game Stoke City has hit the crossbar off of, off of pretty much the same exact play. Lukaku holding it up. I see Suso. I give it to him. Suso still with it. What do you do here? You wait. You whip it. Ball whipped in, but it hit the defender. We win a corner. I'm going near post to Lukaku. Instead, it goes over to... Oh, man. Cuts inside. Sends it over to Dybala. Dybala still with it. Whips it to the back post. Anthony Martial with the header, and it's over. Luke Shaw with a good steal. Here's my guy Gomez, the speedster Gomez, the youngster, super quick Gomez. Good pass in Lukaku! Herrera, Foster Gomez. Gomez with a fake shot, looks up, tries to find Lukaku. He does the shot, Butlin! An unbelievable save by Butlin. Butlin with a world-class slave, Lukaku! Anthony Martial off the post, off the keeper! G Men has defended it beautifully. I whipped that one across the field to Suso. Suso to Fred. Look at the passing. Herrera gives it over to Suso. I see Gomez. Gomez got that speed. He's the speedster. Gomez still with it. I ain't really got that many moves, so I slow down. I see the back post. Anthony Martial. It's a good pass. Anthony Martial. Butlin to the empty net. Suso! Yo, debut day, two goals. The youngster Gomez sets it up. What a find by Gomez to Anthony Martial for his third header of the game. And the keeper, Butlin, oh, it wasn't a header. It was just a, a shot. The ball fell right to Suso. Luckily, on an empty net, Suso was able to put it in. And what a great signing so far. Big boy Suso, two goals in the Premier League. And he just, it's just his first day. Still Suso looks up, finds the boy Anthony Martial, solo dolo! You guys told me about Suso. He's nasty good. And y'all have been raving about Malcolm. I'm looking at it, man. And Malcolm, the originals, actually. In the comments, like, yo, you should try the Brazilian Malcolm. I'm going to try him in the wintertime, yo. We got to sign him. Suso was great, yo. And you know what I got to say? The semi, the semi shooting felt real. You know what I'm saying? That's a goal that you would see in the Premier League, okay? Definitely a goal you would see in the Premier League. This here, this is a miss you would see in the Premier League. Suso makes the play happen. I mean, you're not going to beat Butlin easy from there. You got to go far post. You're probably going to miss. Uh, we move on to the next great attempt. This is my man Lukaku. Is this a type of miss you would see? Possibly. It was his right foot. It is his right foot. So maybe that's that's kind of a miss you would see in the Premier League. And then the goal for Suso, it wasn't easy. Gomez had to go far post. Anthony Martial misses a, you know what? In real life, Butlin would probably make a save like that. A magical save. And then Suso got the rebound and on rebounds, you know, that's what's supposed to happen. So let me know how you guys felt about semi shooting. I thought it looked a lot more realistic. I thought it felt more real 2-0 Manchester United against Stoke City. I feel like that's a fair result. You know, no crazy long shots. We got a, we got a rebound goal. And the first one was a shot from that, you know, poor, poor marking from Stoke City. Let me know what you think down below. Eric Bailly is out for three months. Ah. So it's the Champions League, and we're going to change the team up just a little bit. Not a lot, baby girl, just a little bit. Um, we're actually, you know, pl players are tired. So I'm going to start Rashford over Anthony Martial. I am going to start Lingard um, over Lukaku. But Dybala is actually going to play the striker position. Fred is actually going to hit the bench for Matic. Um, we're actually going to pull out Jimenez for the young center back as well. Why not let it fly? And actually, you know what, bros? You know what I might do here? I actually might... Mm, I kind of want to... I didn't want to play Suso again. I need San... Where's my man? Sa Give me my man, Sanchez. Sanchez, get in the lineup, baby. What are, you, what, are you, what are we doing here? Get Sanchez in and get Rodrigo in. Sanchez, Rodrigo, Rashford, uh, Paul Pogba, Lengard, Matic. Young, I like it. Yeah, yeah, I like it. This is the lineup for the, for the first game in the Champions League against Celtic. 
We got to pick this W up. Valencia looks down, finds Paul Pugba. Paul Pugba with a good first touch. Paul Pugba steps inside, shoots the rebound. Rodrigo, the rebound is to Rodrigo, the Spanish youngster rocking the number 99. In the Champions League, Manchester United's first goal comes to Rodrigo. Paul Pugba with a shot and Rodrigo there for the rebound. Let's be honest, that's a realistic goal. Paul Pugba shooting from there and the ball hitting the back of the net, not realistic. The ball bouncing off the keeper, falling to Rodrigo for a lucky sliding goal. That's kind of realistic. Oh no. Oh no, Dembele, no, I messed up completely. I messed up, com bros, I don't know. I saw the defender, but I thought that my player was standing there. I played it short. Sinclair sends it back over to Brown. Good pass to Armstrong, and here they come. Dembele still with it. Yo, I did not foul. Good pass, Paul Pogba, Lingor. I see you, I see you, I see you. Run, baby, run. Run, baby, run. Rashford still with it, still. Rashford, I couldn't Rashford finds Rodrigo! I'm playing semi-shooting, so I ain't playing games. I'm not gonna be shooting from weird angles. I'ma score cutbacks. I'ma make it look real. Rodrigo finds a second, and let's just stop and talk for a second. Suso, Rodrigo, these guys have been unbelievable. Rodrigo scores two goals every time he plays, but I can't find it in me to bench Lukaku. I'm not gonna do that. Okay, Lukaku's our starter, but Rodrigo has proven that he's a good player. Suso plays over Sanchez and really proved to us that we made a pretty damn good signing and is telling me, you know what? Maybe you could think about letting go of your superstar player. Still Sinclair, a good find into Armstrong, back into Dembele, the youngster center back. Got to that, put pressure on him and made him shoot it wide. A good touch from Sanchez, a skill move, it's beautiful. Alexis Sanchez whips it into the back post, Paul Pogba! Paul Pogba doing Paul Pogba type things. Alexis Sanchez to the back post and look at Paul Pogba. What a finish. That's a beautiful header. I actually think semi shooting makes you score way nicer goals because it's almost a chipped header to the back post. What a ball from Alexis Sanchez. 3-1 in the first half. Well played, United. Sanchez. My man Gomez is in there like swimwear. Gomez, Gomez, Gomez! Champions League. Is that his first time ever playing in the Champions League? Because he just might have scored his first ever Champions League goal. Gomez rocking the number 47. Gomez. Young Gomez. Young Gomez! 5-1. Gomez scores again. And I think that is going to now tell me. 5-1 against Celtic, a bit a bit harsh. So what it tells me is we're going to up the shot error. In the comments down below, can you tell me what I should put it at? They tell me to hire the shot error, which means it is this one right here. Settings, um, game settings, as you guys can see. Wait, where's the... That's not the one. Oh, that is the one. That's where it's at. I believe that's where it's at. Uh, so you go right here to game settings and you go to... Is it CPU? No, it's user. Shot error. Uh, let me try like 80. Tell me what y'all want in the comments down below. Rodrigo with still it with it. A mean skill move from Rodrigo. Look at the passing. It falls to Rashford. Oh, hey! Mamacita, que paso? Mamacita, what are you doing? Hey, papi, where are you shooting that to? All right, hold on. Maybe 80 is a little bit too high, cuz. He bought one superstar, and he goes by the name of Dybala. The rest is all players that we've never really used before. For example, Jimenez is playing for us. That's just an awesome signing. Suso, he's been absolutely unbelievable signing. Fred, pretty, pretty damn awesome signing. Rodrigo as a backup, awesome signing. Like, and the biggest thing, Anthony Martial, Lukaku, uh, uh, Paul Pogba, Young, Valencia, Eric Bailly when he's here, Sanchez most of the time. We really didn't mess up Manchester United. We actually kept them completely the same. We just brought in like four or five players that I think have made this awesome. Hopefully you guys feel the same way I feel. Smash a big old thumbs up if you do. Make sure to subscribe and let me know in the comments down below who else we should sign because I'm going to sign somebody in the next episode even though the window's closed. And number two, um, 
what should the shot era be? Thank y'all so much for watching. I love your faces. Booyah. Hey, real quick before we kick this episode off, Manchester United Caribo, let's get it, baby. Real quick, I'm in my regular clothes, so you know I'm going to sign somebody up, but I have some more news. On my main channel, in a few hours, a video is going to be uploaded. A video that started me on YouTube, got me to a million subscribers. It's a series I used to do. I'm really pumped about it. I hope it's going to do well. I'm going to be uploading over there so I don't interfere, interfere with the career mode here. But the reason I'm telling you guys is because it is a career mode type video. You guys might know what I'm talking about, and you might.